My name is Kyle Abraham, and I'm a dancer, choreographer, and artistic director of Abraham in Motion. I like to think of my work as like a postmodern gumbo, because I always say that I mix so many different dance styles up together and just kind of stir them up in a pot in a good way. A lot of my influence comes from dance legends like Martha Graham from my hometown of Pittsburgh, um, Merce Cunningham, and I think a lot of a lot of my time was spent doing um, a lot of street dance just growing up. So for me, it's all just movement. I think a lot of my inspiration in dancing and getting me to dance is really just rooted in my emotions, just my life growing up in Pittsburgh. There's so much rich history in Pittsburgh, and a lot of it's really affected who I am. I think at the time when I was starting a dance company, I was really thinking about uh, the fact that I was in graduate school at NYU and there were these beautiful dancers. And I was just like, all right, I really want to do this. I really want to spend time working with a certain group of dancers, building something special. I was interested from day one in being a choreographer, not necessarily a dancer in a dance company. So I think along that way, I just continued along that pathway, working with dancers, making a lot of solo work for myself. I found a lot of dancers that were committed to what I was interested in, and they became interested in the same things. So we started to form a company around that time. I think a lot of times when I'm making a dance, I'm really thinking about the music, um, because I, I love music so much. And so sometimes I'm actually making dances to highlight music. And when I think about Pavement, our uh, recent work, I think part of the emphasis there was really thinking about the surroundings and making a kind of soundtrack for an environment. So I really wanted to toy with playing with this opera music. And then think about this history that we're really trying to approach, starting from W.E.B. Du Bois and then going all the way to Boys in the Hood. Um, so thinking about this kind of urban landscape and thinking about the ups and downs of a community. So you start with maybe some blues. And then you get to a more violent sounds of a NWA or something, you know. But all of that is so much uh, a part of the lineage of the black culture. When I got the phone call from the MacArthur Foundation, I started laughing and then the laughing turned to crying, um, especially as I was being told more and more bits and pieces to the whole thing. It just it was just so overwhelming. Even just saying it out loud, I'm trying to control myself because I think if I do, my voice will crack and I might start crying. Um, but I still can't believe it. There's, there's so many things that are amazing about the MacArthur Foundation and getting, getting this award because I can make art, which is what I wanted to spend my life doing. I can actually fraction the money in a way that I know I can live comfortably and make work and hopefully good work for a good number of years.